So this is a 1965 wheel horse model 875. So that's their 8 horsepower hydrostatic model. Has a sun strand hydrostatic transmission. So what I'm looking at today is the transmission doesn't go back to neutral when you push on the clutch. So with the hydrostatic transmission, as long as the engine's running, as long as you have this mechanism engaged, which that's disengaged. So as long as you have your belt engaged, while this is running, you control the speed with this lever, just moving this lever forward and back. So I'm doing this without it running, just so you can hear me talk. So the clutch pedal over here is not really a clutch, but what it does is forces that speed lever back to a neutral position. So here's the indicator. You can see it move while I move this lever. So if I push this forward, as if you're going forward, the clutch pedal, when I push the pedal, brings that lever back to a neutral position. Same thing in reverse. If I pull this back and then push the pedal, that moves that back to neutral. Now the problem is the mechanism is worn so that it doesn't bring it all the way back to neutral. So if I have the pedal depressed, there's enough movement in here that will make the tractor creep forward. So effectively while you're moving forward and you push on the brake, that comes back almost to neutral but your tractor is still moving slightly forward. So to start these units, you want to disconnect your belt drive, and that takes the extra load off of the engine. Need to get the dog out of the way so you don't run him over. What are you eating, dog?
we're going to get in there and find out why it's not going back to neutral. inside the shifter area and you can see when I move the lever forward this part moves upward when I go to the reverse this part moves downward now this is in the middle of this red wedge and that is what pulls it back to neutral so if we're in reverse and I push the pedal you can see this red wedge moves that piece back to neutral you let off the pedal now it's in this open area when I move forward I push the pedal and the red wedge moves it back down from the top so when this is depressed, it should have that piece trapped in the corner where it can't move up or down. Now on this one, the piece that's in the middle of the wedge has enough wear on it that it simply still moves up and down anyways, a little bit, and that's why it'll still creep forward. It's not pulling it all the way back to neutral. Now we do have a lot of slop in the mechanism here in the linkage. So we'll see what we can do about that as we put it back together. This is the piece that works in the middle of that wedge, and you can see a big groove worn in that part. Looks like the pin is welded from the back side, and we've got a snap ring here. So it looks like they made this meant to be a removable piece, meant to be replaceable. to make me a new sleeve use cold roll steel so that's the part that wears not the other pieces these other parts seem to have some uh, plastic bushings in them those still seem okay now this shaft also has a plastic bushing this one's totally gone on one side and there's some wear on the shaft. And there's wear on the shaft where those plastic bushings were riding. So I probably won't make a new shaft unless I have to. Definitely replace this bushing. And then make a new sleeve. book here item number 176 that sleeve right there it's number 176 so you go look at 176 
and it says MW2995 bushing bronze okay so these pieces are silver that's not bronze uh, plus they're magnetic so this has been replaced with the steel or maybe they didn't make them out of bronze all the time I'm gonna do some research on that part number see if it's available probably not uh, if it's not available I'll probably make another one out of mild steel I do have another 875 maybe I'll check and see if it's bronze well it's about a week later I got all my parts it's less than 20 bucks for everything so that's not bad got two of these with a flange on one side and I got two of these with a flange on both sides and I got the bushing so this looks like it's made out of the same material as the other one and it's magnetic so I don't know if that's metal or partially bronze but that's the right part so we're gonna go for it oh boy first I'm gonna replace these flanged bushings and the sleeve goes on here since it looks like it could turn I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on there first I need to fish this piece through that hole on the ball there I want to put some grease on this roller piece so the ball goes in a hole in this plastic part right there and this roller has to go in that pie shaped section I'm going to put some grease inside these nylon bushings too because there was some wear on the shaft where those was riding Put some grease on the shaft here that goes inside the bushings and I want some grease on the end of the shaft where it's going to ride on the end bushings now these flange bushings simply go in the hole the shaft is what holds those in position This arm has to go over this stud here, so I put some grease on that. So this last bushing can go on from the outside after you get the shaft in. And then you need an E clip that goes on the outside of this side. So that holds the shaft in position. Make sure everything moves like it's 
supposed to. That looks good. This plate slides in from the back side. See the neutral pointer don't really line up with neutral now. I need to take that back out and readjust the pointer. Okay, ready to put on the belt and the belt guard. There's a guard that goes over this fan, but I don't have that. It didn't come with this tractor. Alright, that should be it. i got to connect my battery back up. Give her a test run. Alright, not working all the way properly yet. forward, switch on the pedal, and we're still moving. If I go back, push on the pedal, now that does stop. Alright, we're going to adjust this linkage. All right now, remember we already set the pointer, so it goes back to the proper position when you push your clutch to neutral. That centers the linkage. So inside the hole of this plastic piece right here, you can get to the back side of the stud which moves this piece behind it. And there's a screwdriver slot in there and that stud is on an eccentric so as you rotate that piece it moves now there's a locking set screw on top there that holds that stud in position so what we need to do is first safely block up your tractor on jack stands or blocks or whatever it takes so that both wheels are off the ground and it's safely supported now go ahead
ahead and describe this because you might not be able to hear so well while it's running. I'm going to loosen that set screw and I'm going to put a short screwdriver in there. Find that slot and I'm going to rotate that stud until the wheels quit moving. didn't fix it actually. What happened there is uh, now when it goes forward and you push the pedal then it creeps slightly forward. If I go in reverse and I push the pedal it still creeps slightly in reverse. So the linkage is properly centered but there's some wear in there that creates some slop in the linkage so we have to figure out where that slop is and get rid of that alright the way this works is this is your mechanism that controls direction and that moves back and forth to control the valve inside And then you have this plastic piece, which goes on here and slides up and down in this block. And then this actuator, this stud right here, rides in that groove. And this block rides up and down. With that actuator in the slot, as this block moves up and down, then it moves that lever back and forth. So, the part that moves this up and down is this little stud here, which is on the linkage. So the stud ball goes in that hole, and as the lever moves that up and down, that's what slides this up and down. So these are the pieces that are involved in the linkage and neither one of them are available anymore from Wheel Horse or Tor Toro. Toro bought out Wheel Horse. So none of these parts are available. It appears that the most problem 
the biggest problem is that this ball is worn down. So that's what goes in this hole. It slides up and down. So it does have a good amount of wear on it. Somewhat surprising that this metal ball wears faster than that plastic. But lucky for me, it's easier for me to make a new stud with a ball on the end of it than it is to make this plastic piece. I'd have to make that out of aluminum or something if I was to try to make that. So here's the new stud I made. The ball is now on size and it actually fits in that hole quite nicely. It's got to be able to pivot back and forth as that plastic piece slides up and down. These are the two clamps that trap this plastic piece in its groove. So that's my new part, and this is as good as I can make it unless I remake this plastic piece, which I don't think I'm going to do. So we're going to put this back together, make sure i got some grease and stuff on this ball and on the sliding part inside help reduce wear put her back together and see how well that works alright I got my new parts in there need to give it a test got both wheels off the ground safely going to see if this stops motion when you're pushing the clutch, which is really the whole point of this. It's not really a clutch. When you push in the pedal, it should stop motion. I left my cover off here in case I have to make an adjustment, which I probably will.
good as I can get it. I'm going to make sure my set screw is tight. It's almost perfect. I don't know if you can tell there, but while I'm going forward and I push the pedal, it'll stop. And if I got it going reverse, push the pedal, it just slightly creeps backwards. So that's as close as I can get it because there's still some wear in that plastic block. And I'd rather have it stop after going forward than I would in reverse. Plus, if you need to make sure it stops when going in reverse, you can push the pedal and then push the lever forward to take the slop out of the mechanism, and it will stop. I'm going to put the cover plate back on and give it a test run. That's it.